What's up YouTube? This is Chris, back with another video. Um, man, has it been a morning already. So, I was supposed to wake up at 4 a.m. Okay, well, okay, so currently it is 5.20 a.m. I am on my way to fish with Joshua Taylor with Salty Scales and Dean with Fishing 727. So, if you guys haven't, uh, heard of either of their channels i will be sure to link them in the description box below make sure you guys go uh, give them some love but anyways i was supposed to wake up at 4 a.m and because it takes me it was going to take me about an hour to an hour and a half to get to the skyway fishing pier well long story short my dog came in and i was like he normally doesn't come in that early um so i'm thinking I th the, my first thought to myself was, I don't know if it's 4 a.m. Like, it's, I wonder why he's in here. So I go check my phone, and it is 4.40 a.m. So I was all messed up. I'm trying to get all my stuff ready. Luckily, I had it all laid out the night before. So tip to you guys, if you guys uh, ever, or when you guys do go fishing, make sure to leave your clothes out or get everything ready so just in case you're late you don't have to scramble to get things ready so i am on my way to the pier now it is 5 20 somehow i mean i left myself a little wiggle room when it came to when i was going to have to wake up and somehow it's all working out and my gps has me there before 6 a.m when the guys agreed that we'd get there around 5 45 so I'm only going to be about 10 to 15 minutes late, thank God, when I was 40 minutes late waking up. So we're going to go target some grouper at the fishing pier. The season just opened up, so we're going to try and do a catch and cook today for you guys. Um, oh, well, that, that's what Josh is going to do. This video is probably just going to be fishing for grouper off the Skyway Pier or something of that nature. But I'll see you guys at the pier. Let me ask you guys a question. How do you wake up 40 minutes late? 40 minutes late and still be both your fishing partners to the pier? I have no idea. They're slacking. Josh and Dean. Josh, Josh is uh, on his way. Dean just got here. So uh, I'm going to give him a hard time about how I woke up so late and I'm still here before him. All right, guys. We finally made it to the fishing pier. Or they did. Josh and Dean, I've been here. I don't know how a man wakes up 40 minutes late, lives like an extra hour away, and still beats these Googans to the bridge. Oh, you only made it by like 10 seconds. Look at him. It's late. I ain't late. I'm here, boy. It's before sunrise, and I'm ready. Get out of my time lapse. Oh, it's all right. Y'all like seeing me in the time lapses, don't y'all? Oh. Hey, all right, so. Bait? Where's that bait at? What? Bait. We're gonna catch it. No, where's the, the bait? Get the bait. Oh, right here. Right there. Alright, so as you guys heard Josh say, we're gonna catch some bait. So let's get to it. Alright, guys. Just trying to catch some pinfish and some pigfish. So, what we got here is a sabiki Josh made up. And all I'm doing is taking the insides of the shrimp, so just the white, the meat inside, putting them on here, a little bit at a time. Right of that pole and, and cast it or drop it. How far am I looking at? Okay, 
All right, guys, so I got... I'm a little undersized for these grouper, but I guess a 10 aught hook on there, and I got a 100 pound uh, fluorocarbon. So we're free lining these pinfish. I'm gonna get pissed. Dean's hooked up over there, guys. Looks like he's got a good one, too. I got it right out of the rocks, and as soon as I did, he freaking nailed it. That's a fat, healthy, dark hair. What do you think about that, Dean? That was fun. I mean, I've caught grouper, but I've never done it this way. Wherever I've been casting the entire time. You had a fish on the whole time, Chris. And you let your rod down. So Chris got rod, guys. And number one rule, never let your rod down. Chris lays his rod down and walks away. It just went over the railing. I've never, outfit. I've never had that happen. What outfit was that? Uh, my $400 outfit. Do you have a snatch hook? No, I don't. Do you, Chris? I no. have a bucktail or something like that but that's not gonna everybody need yeah everybody needs to put on something real heavy right now the tide's not moving and the fish the, the rod will be right here man we just gotta snag the line we gotta get some heavier stuff going here I know YouTube. We're still feeling defeated. A little defeated, but we got some hope. <sighs> Guys, it's been a hell of a day. It has been a hell of a day. I don't know what kind of footage you're seeing, but currently we're about to leave the bridge and me and Josh have spotted my rod again. We hooked it earlier in the day, or we thought we hooked it earlier in the day, and we're cranking it in and then lost tension and it was gone well we haven't been able to find it on gopro or anything since then and we just saw it again like it is right under the bridge so instead of being for, uh, at first it was further out now it's right under the bridge so josh is going to have his wife bring his cast net to the pier and i'm praying that we can get this thing up because it's it's a pretty expensive rod it's about a 400 hundred dollar outfit after it's all said and done and on top of that, it's just my favorite rod and reel, and I've caught some pretty good fish on it, so it's got a lot of uh, sentimental value to me. So I'll keep you guys up to date. I'm feeling a little better now that I can see my rod. My GoPro is still broke uh, from trying to find it earlier in the day, but I don't care about my GoPro at this point. I just want my rod and reel back, so I'll keep you guys up to date. Gosh. Good job, partner. Dude, 
Look at what it's caught on. Look at how it's caught. <laughs> look at how it's caught. Oh, the hood keeper. Look at this. Look at this. The hood keeper wow. is the only thing. The hook keeper. I appreciate it, man. Man, it's no been problem, in there dude. for like what six hours. So we snagged it earlier this morning. It was way. It was out. I don't know about 20 yards. Yeah. It dropped off the hook. This is a all right, guys. So it has been a hell of a day. Not really catching fish, more or less trying to catch my rod that I left on the side of the the pier and ended up flying into the the water. Long story short, I guess I hooked up on a fish when I had some slack line. I thought it was hung up. Well, it was hung up, so the fish got me hung up. Dean uh, ended up ho hooking up on a grouper, so I laid my rod down saying that I would go get it later, you know, get it unhooked whenever I got Dean's fish on my GoPro. Um, so <clears throat> I'm walking back over to my rod, and it flies in the water. So after that, all, all hell broke loose. We were throwing all different lures out there from treble hooks to gotcha lures to just one ounce big jig heads because uh, that's kind of all we had. Josh ended up picking it up with a treble hook and then he dragged it all the way really close to the pier about eight to ten feet out from the pier and um, what else happened? <laughs> we found it with my GoPro and then my GoPro ended up breaking. Uh, I'm thinking that water ended up getting inside of it. We're not too sure about that, but my GoPro ended up breaking. So I'm thinking that I was at about a $900 loss for the day. And then I was about to leave. Josh said, let's drop his GoPro down before I left to see if we could find it again. We spotted it again. So we called his wife, asked her to bring his cast net out. She gets here. We're throwing the cast net, throwing the cast net, throwing the cast net, probably about eight to 10 throws in. Our, fr our uh, peer friend, William here comes along, asks if he could help us out. So he's throwing his net out there. Um, and then he took, Josh was a little tired. So he took a turn throwing Josh's net out, seeing if he could get it a little further. You don't want to and uh, what'd you do? Get it on your first throw with his net? Yeah, first throw. So that's William right there, guys. He helped save my outfit, and I'm very grateful. So. Everybody deserves a shot in the dick. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for this video, guys, today. If you enjoyed, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. And remember, we'll see you on the water.